Good morning everybody. Hello and welcome back. So this morning I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy, actually it is really easy, uh, how to make a uh, espresso affogato. Uh, simply combine ice cream and espresso. That's it. This is one of my favorite summer coffee recipe and it, it is it is early, okay, it's about 8.15 in the morning, but let's see, looking at the temperature right now, it's almost 100 degrees outside in Tucson, Arizona. Man, it's really hot. So you know what, let's get going, okay? It's getting hot there, I'm gonna start the day early. I already measured out the 18 grams of coffee. So whenever I, whenever I make uh, avocado, I like to use a very dark and bold, uh, like Brazil or some kind of um, South America blend be more like medium to dark roast there. So this is the house blend from uh, uh, Good Brothers Coffee. Smells pretty good. And so let's get going. Okay, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm, I'm using the Bravo Barista Pro this morning. Okay. I'm, okay, whenever you're using Pro, there's no way to warm up the machine. Just do the couple dummy shots, okay? Just do the dummy shots. I'm just, meantime, I'm gonna get my ice cream ready. So this morning I'm going to be using uh, vanilla beans from Tamalak, Talamak, okay, Talamak. So just the plain vanilla beans ice cream. And it comes to how many scoops, you know, it's up to you guys. Personally, I like just do one scoop there, so just do the one scoop for me. For some other people, maybe two, three, it's all depends on what you guys like, okay. Nobody gonna judge you for it. I'm just gonna do one scoop here. That's it. So ice cream is ready. And uh, hold on, let me put this thing away. All right, so let's make some coffee, guys. Let's make some coffee here. Let me show you guys my workflow. Okay. My workflow is pretty simple with uh, Brista Pro. Just use the 3D dosing funnel. And for end of the grind, I like to tap it. I show you what that is. I, I just like to just like tap like this. You see that? Tap it. So get all the coffee grinds out. Since we are using the bottomless uh, port filter. I usually do the WDT on this, okay? So this is the WDT tools, nine prong. Just go, you know, kind of a spiral motion. Nice and easy. Man, you can get a WDT tools pretty much everywhere now. If you have a 3D print, just print one. All right. Looks pretty good there. I'm just gonna do Quick distribution, quick temp. So now we are all ready to go, okay? I'm just gonna lock it in. You know, I usually measure my shots, okay? Like different ratios, like one to two, or maybe one to three ratio. But whenever I'm mixing with something, like, you know, ice cream is pretty much milk and sugar. I'm not gonna worry about ratio. I'm, I'm just gonna pull the shot here. Let me give you guys a close up. Let me. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, you're gonna get a good bottomless shot. Let's take a look. Looks pretty good. Come on, let's come together. There we go. I'm just gonna shoot for about 25 seconds. 25 seconds shot. Man, look at that guys. I bet you I can do another ice cream. Okay, maybe another scoop. 
it looks amazing there. So let's try this, okay? Let's try this coffee. Did I say it's coffee? It's not a coffee, okay? This is more like, like dessert, like after meal dessert type. I know some of you likes to eat dessert first, so. Smells pretty good, cheers. I'm just gonna take a little bite of it. So get the scoop of espresso. Here we go, cheers. Man, they are fantastic, folks. Okay, they are simply the best. So anyway, if you haven't tried mixed with your uh, ice cream and your espresso, highly recommend it this summer. Actually, the fact is you can do that any time of the year or so, but definitely try uh, tonight or this morning or this weekend. Anyway, I hope this video helps. And uh, if, you, if you have any questions or comments, I'm going to jump into Instagram right now. So ask me there. All right. See you guys on